Okay, I am going to talk about the revised GRE in this video section and I am going to take you through about what's this new GRE and uh, uh, why is it important and how you can uh, prepare a strategy for the new GRE. So the new GRE is launching for those guys who are giving the exam after the 1st of August and uh, there have been quite some changes and uh, I am going to take you through with the changes. Now to start with the new GRE is uh, changed due to many factors. Uh, one of the factors was that uh, the vocab based GRE and the uh, computer adaptive GRE was causing uh, a kind of stress on the students and uh, uh, might be they were, uh, uh, they were taking into consideration the new needs of uh, uh, the business schools and the inputs from the uh, graduate and the business school. So, uh, all of these uh, factors uh, make the ETS to change the new GRE. Okay, so the four points what you can expect and this is the site ets.org slash GRE. You can go there and check it out. I'm just reading uh, uh, and uh, giving my views on what uh, is the strategy, uh, what is the changes and what might be your strategy to take this new exam. So the new exam is uh, more computer friendly. Uh, it will have an on-screen calculator so you don't have to do tough calculation and the best part here is that, is that it's not computer adaptive so you can change or edit any of your question which you would like to because computer adaptive uh, sometimes gives a mental stress that you cannot return to the same question and uh, that makes a, uh, that makes a mental barrier or a fear in students that oh I did the last question wrong and I've lost somewhere so that part is taken off that's point one the second point about the new GRE is that there are new question types and verbal and quantitative reasoning but the best part is that uh, uh, the vocab out of context thereby meaning the uh, antonym and the uh, analogies are being removed so that's a good news and uh, if you give the GRE uh, before 30th September then you're going to get a 50% discount but just uh, take care that uh, you will not get a refund if you cancel the exam and you cannot change the date. So those are the two constraints uh, uh, which are attached to this 50% discount. So just take care of that and uh, your score, score reporting will take some time. So uh, just uh, go to this site ETS and check out the schedule. So let's talk about what we have about the new GRE and uh, let's uh, uh, talk about how uh, uh, it's going to be a, a new experience so now you can review and uh, you can mark and review the question at the end so it, it would involve a new strategy and uh, you you'll you'll have a totally uh, different approach here this time so you'll you'll be able to change the question you'll be able to use the on-screen calculator and you'll have the new question type such as numeric entry where, where you have to type in the data and uh, in the reading comprehension a place where you have to highlight uh, the things and there is less reliance on vocab out of context and more emphasis on uh, reading so no antonyms and analogies now you can go ahead and check out this software and download it from the ets.org and uh, uh, just check out this book okay so these are the new changes let me uh, talk about the type of questions that we are going to see in the verbal reasoning the good news is that no antonyms no analogy more reading on focus so you need a new strategy and uh, a new plan to improve your uh, reading habits your reading uh, and your comprehension comprehension uh, and grasping uh, powers so you have to work on that so in the new uh, verbal reasoning we don't have antonym analogies but we have a uh, a new type of question uh, which is the sentence equivalence and uh, question and the reading comprehension which have like multiple choice question highlight in the uh, reading comprehension and things like that so uh, we'll have the uh, verbal reasoning question and the other question okay so this is like uh, about the new GRE the quantitative reasoning and uh, we'll have more real life scenarios in that so uh, we'll, we'll have on screen keyboard and the numeric uh, entry data question now uh, the data interpretation parts remains the same in fact uh, 
uh, from what I have experienced uh, while checking out the new power prep was that uh, the questions of the data interpretation have become a little bit tricky and uh, there have been addition of uh, some concepts in the statistics also and uh, addition ad addition of like normal distribution and things like that which I also found in this uh, book. So just uh, check out and buy this book. It's the official guide to the G to the revised GRE. Uh, it's a it's a board by the e it's a book by the ETS. So you need to have this book while you are giving the exam. So just go ahead and order it from the ETS website. And the analytical and the uh, uh, essay has have been uh, changed and the time has been reduced. So. Uh, the verbal question contains three, the reading comp comprehension, test completion and sentence sequence. We are going to look at uh, all three of them. Okay, now uh, the reading comprehension question type will have uh, select one answer and select more than one answer choices. <laughs> now in the upcoming classes, I am going to talk about strategies for the uh, more than one answer choices on the probabilities that exist, how the probability is distributed and uh, you'll have like a seven choices and uh, uh, what what kind of hints are there in that part so let's uh, uh, look at some of the question types so like this is the reading comprehension and uh, this is the question now the good part here in the new GRE is that uh, since the exam is divided into uh, two sessions and I'm coming to that and we are going to look at these questions as well since the exam is divided into uh, uh, into sections let me uh, just talk about uh, uh, the timing has changed so what we are actually going to see is uh, just let me move to that thing before I talk on that okay so the test structure has changed and the length of exam has changed and uh, the verbal reasoning and we'll have just uh, analytical writing analyze an issue and one argument task. so these would be 30 30 minutes each so it, it would be one hour for these two things the verbal uh, reasoning has got two sections of 20 20 questions so we have like uh, uh, a one hour verbal and the last time it was like just 30 minutes so the verbal time has doubled and uh, uh, for uh, the quantitative part quantitative reasoning uh, that's now 70 minutes so uh, the, the GRE has become a longer exam and we have the unscored and the research which would vary so over and over we will have two sections of verbal reasoning what can be interpreted about the type of questions in verbal is that the exam is not going to be a very high scoring exam that's part one uh, because since it's not computer adaptive it will have tougher questions and since it, it has the tougher questions uh, sometimes it's possible that it might go towards the low scoring exam now let me talk about how that's going to affect our strategy for the uh, verbal section okay now the verbal section will consist of reading comprehension uh, three types of question we have in the reading comprehension the first is the multiple choice uh, with one answer correct more than one answer correct and select in the passage so these are like the three combinations possible in the reading comprehension and since we have all these things the chances of having a very big reading comprehension and attaching uh, these three questions is quite less so my intuition my just uh, feeling is that uh, uh, the chances of getting a long uh, uh, reading comprehension is quite less now that's just my intuition there have been nothing said officially about this thing but uh, looking at the type of questions that we have here uh, the the, uh, the chances of getting a very long reading comprehension is less okay in the upcoming uh, class series I'll be talking about each of uh, uh, these type of questions so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be talking about uh, some strategies that you can take for the reading comprehension for the sentence equivalence and uh, uh, for the other types of questions that we have so the scoring of this is uh, from 130 to 170 which is a one point increment uh, whereas the last time we had like it uh, being varied from 200 to 800 so the one point increment can uh, give a clear indication and comparison of two students by point by point basis and uh, 
uh, th that would be uh, uh, a better way to actually compare very specifically okay so I'm, I'm ending this video here in the next video I'm going to talk about specifically the verbal part of the new GRE and the focus on the three types of question thank you for watching this recording and uh, just subscribe to my channel or check down my website so my website is uh, freegregmatclass.com and uh, you can check out the details the link of my website is also posted uh, near to this after I return we are going to uh, uh, do the questions uh, uh, that we have here okay thank you and uh, uh, best of luck for the exam